So I am up on Tumamok Hill. This is the first time I've been able to make this climb since March 16th. This trail has been closed down since COVID and it has since reopened. You do, you are required to wear a mask, which at times feels a little dangerous, but it's doable. And I think when there is no one in your line of sight or nearby, I think it's okay to take off your mask, and take a few deep breaths. I hope that I'm being safe and responsible. It's hard to say. I feel a little guilty for being in places with people still, uh, and I'm not really quite sure how to navigate that. Uh, but I am so happy to be up here right now. This is a mental health hill. This is the hill to climb. No matter where you're coming from, what you're going through, what is on your mind, the clarity that comes from a 20 something minute climb straight up a hill is unlike anything I've ever experienced. I could do, I've done so many different things, <laughs> I think. A lot of different things that all, you know, get that, that endorphin re release um, that feel really good and you feel so good, but nothing quite like this. And I think part of it is the amount of time. This climb took 28 minutes, which is a little longer than it has in the past, but I'm actually really happy with that. Um, it's paved. It's five minutes from my home. It's in the city. It feels very, it's just so approachable and it's steep, um, but you can go at whatever pace you, you need to. And there are people of all shapes and sizes and ages that do this. And it is whatever is going on in your head, in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit, the amount of clarity that comes from this little hike is so amazing so amazing i can't i can't this is i i love i am in love with tumak tumamak i'm in love with tumamak i love you tumamak thank you so much for being here thank you for always being here and there's some people walking past they don't see me, but I see them. Um, I'm going to take a moment. I have this water bottle full of fresh mountain spring water captured just yesterday. Thank you, Brian, for taking me to the spring. It's still cold too. Oh my God. I, I want to go up again right now. Fill up everything. <laughs> that was wonderful. Anyway, I hope everyone at some point can discover a mental health hill like this. And maybe it actually isn't a hill. Maybe it's something completely different. But I hope everyone can have something that can just like, whatever is going on, just like, boom, <laughs> snap them right out of it. It's just so, it's so straight to the point. This, this is such an incredible hill. I have sorted out so many things on this hill. I have had huge anxiety attacks on this hill, climbing up this hill, at the foot of this hill. But by the end of it, like, whew, nothing matters anymore. It's just clarity and happiness and good feelings and healthy, healthy soul. So thank you again to my walk. I, I love you so much. 
I, of course, have brought my little journal. I have been, this is just, I'm vlogging apparently. I had no intention on undoing this, but why not? Um, so hello, welcome to, is this 13, maybe, 12? I don't know. Uh, I have been enjoying this little baby so much lately. Um, I've, you, keep, you can't really see, the, the lighting is not in the best position right now. Um, but this is my A6, no, excuse me, pocket, Mr. Darcy Buttered Rum. I've had this for a very long time now. It is a great journal cover. I am on volume 38 in a tiny Leuch term, uh, just over halfway. I will probably be collaging a new one very soon. I do intend to move into another pocket size Leuch term. And I have been really enjoying this little Caveco brass fountain pen. Um, and it's starting to show some patina. I've had it, I've been using it since the day I got it. Um, you probably can't, eh, maybe you can see that actually. Yeah, you should be able to see that just right there by the grip section, which is exciting. And actually you can see here where it's not capped some wear as well, which is really exciting. Um, I feel like I got really lucky with this pen. Um, I feel a little conflicted with the Cavecos just because I've, they are so inconsistent, unfortunately, as far as nibs go. Um, that has been my experience and that has been the experience of many others. So it's not something I feel comfortable recommending to people that are wanting to get into fountain pens. Twas be eco. That's the one I always want to recommend. We're talking about pens now, apparently. <laughs> um, Twisby Eco, so consistent, great carrying capacity, solid, substantial, well-made pen. It's awesome. I feel like that's such a great place to start. And then from there, you can branch out uh, and then maybe try a Caveco um, and know that you may get something awesome and you may not. Um, I feel like I wouldn't recommend it as the first pen because you might get a bad one and not know not really know it because if you don't know fountain pens you don't have anything to compare it to um, and I really want everyone's first fountain pen experience to be really good <laughs> um, but anyways I do feel like I got extremely lucky with this one because it has the nib is fantastic I really have been truly enjoying this nib and it's been I have to admit it's been a long time since I've really been able to relax into a steel nib again I and really it's just complete personal preference. They, I would not say that gold is better than steel by any means, I will not say that. Um, it's different, but it's subtly different. Um, and I tend to gravitate to gold nibs and prefer the experience that comes with a gold nib. But this one is fantastic. I really am truly enjoying it. Like I said, I feel very lucky to have landed such a solid one. Another thing that people complain about is the, the clip um, pulling off really easily. This one is on pretty, pretty solidly. It does, has not budged. Ooh, and look at that nice patina right there. Um, so again, I feel very lucky with that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a bit of writing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you find your mental health hill. I'm gonna finish this spring water, the last of my spring water. Oh no.